guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm gonna be going to a brand new location, uh, which is actually, I think, a charity of sorts. Um, I could be wrong about that, but it's called The Nest Community, and I actually got referred to this place from a local fabric store that I go to um, called East Coast Fabrics, and she was like, oh, did you know about this? community center and I was like oh my god no and she's like everything is four dollars a meter and it's fabric that is donated whether it be by big chain stores or people just getting rid of fabric that they own the story behind the brand is that they're trying to prevent wastage of fabric going into landfill and they're trying to be more sustainable so I absolutely love that um, I'm not too sure if the proceeds get donated it does say that all of their staff is like volunteer workers so I'm not sure where the profits actually go to so the nest community is located in Everton Hills and it is just an old house that has been renovated which is super cool if you didn't know it was there you certainly would miss it it is like a normal everyday house it does have a big sign out the front um, but other than that you really would miss it. <laughs> so upon entry, there is a big sign out the front. They have workshops and classes and courses. And I think it is again, all run by volunteers. I had a bit of a look on their website and they have a beginner's course um, or at least a day session for $35. So very reasonably priced. And I think it would be a great place to make friends if that's what you're after. Outside, there was also a garden which had a ton of plants varying from indoor plants to outdoor plants. They had the most gorgeous frangipani trees and they were only $10 which I thought was crazy good given the size of them. And I'm not sure if you were allowed to get into the back garden but there looked to be a ton in there as well and there was a sign that had all the prices and I thought it was very reasonably priced. If you're on the north side, I highly recommend going and checking them out. You could also definitely follow them on socials. They're on Instagram and Facebook and they post like a few of their new in bits every now and then. Okay, now that we've given you an intro to the place, as you walked in, there was a ton of different fabrics and I'm about to start sharing with you the pieces that I picked up um, but to give you a little tour around they had a quilting fabric section an upholstery fabric section they had buttons and zips and bias binding they had so many sections I was actually gobsmacked now I did just go downstairs there was an upstairs to the building but I'm, and I'm not really sure what was up there but I assume that's where they run the classes or the workshops there was an entire wall that the only way I can describe it was like a colorful bookshelf <laughs> of so many fabrics and was really great that they color coordinated it as well so you could kind of shop by color and it was semi organized into different fabric styles as well so they had like a knit fabric section and a satins and silks and all of that kind of stuff so all of these materials are mostly off cuts so they vary from less than a meter all the way up to what I found was six meters long so as you look through all the different fabrics they have labels on them to say their length and then no matter what fabric it is it's four dollars a meter I managed to pick up so many great pieces and the total came to 87 or 89 dollars um, so an absolute bargain for what I'm about to show you let's start off with this fab Stick knit um, have a look at this divine quality like that that is like pure heaven. Oh, it nearly matches my cupboard. Um, it's this beautiful tealy blue green color, stunning. Um, it is called ribbing. <laughs> That's what they have on it. Um, and it's a 1.5 meters by 120 centimeters. Now my plan for this is going to be a really chic, I'll put a photo here, um, ribbed shirt slash singlet but that color oh my god <laughs> i'm so excited about that so one and a half meters of this was literally six dollars something i think it was actually seven yeah seven dollars on the receipt 
For this, $7, that is insane. Now the thing that I saw on social media was actually two of these um, mats. One was even smaller, it was like an A5. This is the A4 size. I really ideally need something bigger than this and I used to have one and I annoyingly donated it back in the day. Um, but I've recently obviously started working with my Cricut and I also have now been cutting fabric out and stuff. So um, having a little cutting mat is gonna be super useful and it was only five dollars so at that price I was like bargain next up I felt like this was an absolute score of a bargain this is six meters of this beautiful little like checker green and white fabric I'm assuming it's cotton um, it feels like a cotton to me but also I'm new to this so I could be very off with that and it's a semi structured cotton though so I'm not sure how it will drape um, I think it's gonna require a certain dress but with six meters I figured I may even be able to make a pair of shorts and a dress out of this but if you have any ideas I'm open to your suggestions I just couldn't go past it this was my most expensive item coming in at $24 but even that is a bargain next I got a band band random assortment of buttons um, they're all a creamy yellowy color um, do I need this many buttons? Probably not, but hopefully that will come in handy for some projects. <laughs> Next up, we have this absolutely divine emerald green. Um, is it even emerald? I don't think this is emerald. Don't ask me what shade of green this is because I could not tell you and it's coming up slightly different on camera. It looks more minty. In person it's a bit more like forest green, really bright, vibrant. But this is a beautiful satin material and it was 90 centimeters by five meters. So as you can imagine, it was $4 a meter. Um, so this came to $20, which was just an absolute bargain. I have a slip dress pattern, which I mentioned in my last video that I have plans for this fabric with and I'm so excited excited about it. Next up we have this absolutely stunning lilac knit material. Um, I might take this one out actually because I haven't seen the edge of it. I'm a little nervous how thin it's going to be. Um, oh, how many meters? <laughs> that would help. So it was 160 centimeters by 2.2 meters. So again, it would have only been like $11, $12, $10. <laughs> Katie maths. Oh my god, I love it so much. It definitely looks like it's, um, what's the word, been sitting in someone's craft cupboard for quite some time, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so it's not a super stretchy fabric, but I have a plan for like a cute little cardigan with this. I'm really envisioning some, maybe even some hand embroidery work, like little white daisies or something on this. I don't quite know 100% yet, but it's such a stunning color that I just couldn't, I couldn't go past it. The last fabric that I got was this really gorgeous, um, what's it called? Stretch knit fabric that is kind of like supercar racing slash biking. It's a very boy print. <laughs> My kids absolutely love any type of motor vehicle. So I grabbed that. It was four meters by 155 centimeters. So again, super cheap, um, heaps of fabric. I'm planning on making them some really nice jersey uh, more pajamas. I know I made them some last year and I'm really planning on making some more because they constantly outgrow their stuff. And then the last couple of items that I picked up were some little um, patches. So these are going to go on some kind of thing. I don't know if I'm going to put this on a denim jacket or a t-shirt or something, but how cute are they? So this was 15 cents. 15 cents and this was 20 cents and I just thought these are the kind of things that you can collect over time and then just hand stitch onto any garment. I wasn't sure too if this one might be an iron press on because it has got that like backing stuff so I don't really know. Any advice when it comes to these sort of things would be fab because I know nothing about it. They also had thread for two dollars, a reel and this is um almost identical in color to that satin that I just picked up. And then I got two zips and these were only, how much were they? Did she say a dollar? I think they were a dollar or 50 cents or something crazy of that nature. I got a green one and a black one. So that came to 89.35 for that entire haul. I'm so stoked with that little 
nugget of a find. <laughs> I'll definitely be returning back there. I'm such a savvy hunter. I cannot stand paying like 15, 20, 30 dollars a meter for fabric. Um, and maybe I will down the track when I'm more experienced and I know that exact measurements of what product I'm trying to make, but I just right now I don't have a concept of how much a certain design is gonna take fabric and I don't wanna risk such a quality fabric getting ruined in my learning ways. So right now I'm super stoked to have found a store like that. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please go down and hit the thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and of course let me know in the comments what you would do with the fabric that I just picked up today or if you've actually gone to the Nest community yourself. And I will see you guys very soon soon for another video on my channel. Bye!